Hey everyone, it's Nicole from KenHub and welcome to this tutorial on the superficial veins of the brain. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking mainly at this image of the cerebrum, which is a lateral view of the left cerebral hemisphere, with its anterior aspect over here, our posterior aspect over here, our cerebellum down here, and our brainstem just inferior to that. As you can see, the superficial surface of the cerebrum has many venous structures, otherwise known as the superficial veins of the brain, which of course is the topic of our tutorial today. Before we go on to talk about the superficial veins of the brain, I first want to introduce you to the concept of the cerebral veins in general, that is, the veins that drain the parenchyma of the brain. It's important to note that unlike the veins of the rest of the body, the veins of the brain are thin-walled and valveless. There are two types of venous systems found within the cerebral brain. These are the superficial venous system, which primarily drain the grain matter of the brain, and the deep venous system, which drain the deep structures of the brain and the white matter of the cerebral hemispheres. Both sets of veins drain into the internal jugular vein. However, since our focus of today is on the superficial veins of the brain, we'll leave a deeper discussion of the deep veins for another tutorial. Let's have a chat now about the function and location of the superficial veins of the brain. As we mentioned, the main role of the superficial veins of the brain is to drain blood from the grey matter and superficial most white matter of the cerebral cortex. As you can probably guess from the name, the superficial veins of the brain are the veins found on the surface of the cerebrum. More specifically, they are found in the subarachnoid space, that is, between the arachnoid mater and the pia mater. In this cranial view of the brain, you can see the superior cerebral veins running between the pia mater, which itself is running over the surface of the cerebrum, and the arachnoid mater, which is the layer lying superficial to the pia mater. Let's take a couple of minutes to talk about the drainage of the superficial veins of the brain. As you can see on the image, the superficial veins of the brain form an anastomotic network, connecting extensively with each other and to the deep cerebral veins. The superficial veins of the brain drain blood from various regions into sinuses in the brain. The frontal and parietal lobes drain into the superior sagittal sinus, and blood from the temporal and occipital lobes drain into the right and left transverse sinuses, though in this image we're only looking at the left transverse sinus. The deep cerebral veins drain either into the straight sinus or the transverse sinuses, but again we'll talk more about these in another tutorial. Before we move on to talk about the superior cerebral veins in a bit more detail, I just wanted to talk through the pathway of the superficial veins of the brain using this cranial view of the cerebrum and the superior cerebral veins of the brain. In contrast to most of the body, the superficial veins of the brain do not follow the arteries. Instead, from the structures they drain, their path takes them across the brain surface in the subarachnoid space. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.